Let's talk about the team out west who doesn't look great either. They came into the season with high hopes, but they have struggled. The Portland Trailblazers lost to the Warriors last night, dropped them to three and four on the season. Look, they've got a bunch of new signees playing in and out of the lineup. Whiteside, Hazonia, Kent Bazemore, they're all getting significant minutes as the team tries to assimilate them into the roster. Part of this is just due to injuries, all right? So I, we got to say that in the context of any conversation, they have been hit. Still, though, do you think that they undervalued roster continuity? Because they did make changes this season to a team that went to the Western Conference Finals. Yeah, but don't teams that win championships try to get better for the following year? So I, I, I don't, you know, I don't measure it like that. I, I just think with the injuries, the new guys that's coming in, trying to get a customer plan with Dame and CJ mm -hmm. of how they do things around there, adding White, white side, mm -hmm. adding White side in that. Nurk is just still out. That's to me, that's the biggest key. Nurkic needs to get back because he pro provides a lot more offense in the interior and defensive presence as well. And they just missing that and trying to acclimate, get these other guys acclimated in. So well, the crazy thing about this Blazer team, they actually, if you include the dead money mm -hmm. that they have, they have the highest payroll in the NBA. The highest? The highest. I thought it was like second or third. Second highest, highest if you don't include the dead money, but okay. if you include the dead money, which I, you know, they're either one or two, depending on how few whether you include it. Whoa. This is not a team that is built to, let's just see how we can hang loose there. This is a team that, this is a transition year in the NBA, which you talked about at the top of the show. So when I talk to executives out there seeing this, they believe that the Blazers are going to be active in the trade market as the season goes on. Um, they have the pieces that required are for trade. They have a couple of big expiring contracts and Hassan Whiteside and Ken Bazemore. They have a couple of good young players, they Anthony picks, Simons. Right? They have full complement of picks. There's a couple of guys out there. What they really need is forwards. Now, right now, you know, they don't have nervous. <laughs> I'll tell you. They, you know, they lost, they lost Afru Camino and they lost Harkless. Watch Danilo Gallinari. That's, that's what I was just about to say. Watch Danilo Gallinari. He will be perfect fit with those guys. Why? Why is he such a good Well, I, I think because he's a knockdown shooter. Uh -huh. um, I mean, Kevin he's a, loves he's the a, other he's a, he's a veteran player. He can rebound. He can shoot. He spreads the floor for them. Opens up for the two guys that, you know, are mainly their, their, their base scorers. And what Gallo provides, I think, can elevate them. Something what they've been lacking at that position for quite some time. Yeah, I... The Cavs have been pretty clear that Kevin Love is not available. Kevin Love has said he wants to stay. I don't disbelieve any of that, but... You don't? I think if they, <laughs> if they got serious, they could make an offer. I mean, you're not under oath, but there's a camera pointed at you. I'm recording this, so... Um, I think Gallinari is more acquirable. Yes, I, I agree so, with that. And we'll see who else comes on the market, but... Kevin Love's contract and also what Cleveland is going to think that they deserve back for him in trade and what a team is going to want to trade for him considering his injury history. Also, we just talked about how they've got the number one payroll in the league. I don't know if they want to be taking on more $100 million contracts, mm -hmm. but um, to me, this is a opportunity year for the Blazers. And yes, they're not at their top right now because Nurkic is out, but the... I don't. I see them more doubling down as opposed to pulling back. So Sam Presti should keep his phone with him at all times. Yeah, I mean, I. I Neil O'Shea might. Yeah, be. I, I. I just think that they have the assets to make just about anything happen. For for. Can they players. make the move, please? I, I, I said, a couple years. Go get Mello. Mello would have been perfect. <laughs> Gallo, if he's available, go get Gallo. He wants it now. He doesn't want it in February. Right. Listen to Mr. McGrady. He's in the Hall of Fame. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.